I want to talk about what I believe are the three most important things for any successful income, starting your own business, taking your own thing to the next level, scaling the business you have. And those three things are mindset, marketing, and momentum. Welcome to the Dean Graziosi Show. All success starts right here. What's up, what's up? I am so happy to have you guys here and I'm happy to be here with my amazing wife, Lisa Graziosi. What's up? Lisa Graziosi <laughs> I like house. saying that, it just sounds good. <laughs> hey, listen, today, right now, I wanna talk about what I believe are the three most important things for any successful income, starting your own business, taking your own thing to the next level, scaling the business you have, and those three things are mindset, marketing, and momentum. And I want to talk about why I feel you can't start the business or scale the business if you got the wrong mindset. And then once you have the right mindset and if you have the right product, if you build it, they will not come. You need marketing. And then once you market and have the right mindset and your business starts to move, if you don't have the skills to get momentum to scale it, then you just created another job. Do you agree with that? Yes, absolutely. You agree with that now. Maybe not when we first met. Exactly. <laughs> okay, so we'll but, get to that. Before yeah. before we get to that, I didn't mean to cut you off. No, no. Babe. Um, but before we get to that, we're releasing this on Thanksgiving here in the States. Now, I know it's not Thanksgiving all around the world, but it's Thanksgiving here. So we're going to give everybody a shout out for Thanksgiving because we're so thankful for you. What are you thankful for? For my family, for you. I'm thankful for our health. Yeah, what else? Uh, How about that little nugget things. in your belly? Of course, our little... So you are showing little, today. Little, you can't see it. Well, those of you have videos, she's showing today. She's over five I, months. I do look... Yeah, yeah you're you growing fast. Tell. I love it. You look amazing. <laughs> look at me. So, yeah, I'm thankful for... Well, listen, I'm thankful for you guys. Everybody watching or listening, we get so many comments. Listen, it's not easy. I'm That's just being true. honest. It's not easy being in the public eye. Sometimes we want to stop doing it because we have a life, but... You know, it's I'm in an industry where I want to impact your lives. It's my obsession, and I love that you um, that you not only approve but you support the mission that we're on. Absolutely, I think the what makes it easier to be in the public eye or to have you be in the public eye, not me, not I, but uh, is to see why you why you do what you do. Yeah. And like all the impacts, well, and you get to the see lives that you impact. Yeah, be, you get to see behind the scenes or when people come up time. to us and yes. Whenever we travel and people come up to you, they always have something positive to say. I actually have never heard one negative thing. And I love how people just truly, from the bottom of their heart, they're so grateful for what you've done for them or what you've taught them in your teachings. And, you know, they love that you're their teacher. And so for that, I can say it has been easier to have, to be with someone that's yeah. in the public eye, especially, you know, because I see the mission that you're on. Um, but if it was for any other reason, I might be like, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, I know. When we first met, she's like, oh. wow, you have a lot of people. Before she even, when we first met, she didn't even know what I did for a living. And then she's like, wow, you have all these people following you. And is that, and then, but I loved the, I love the transition. And I love now when we do a post together and you guys put so many incredible comments. She's like, oh my God, look what this one said. And oh my God, this is so sweet. And anyway, we we feel really blessed. And yes, so we're we thankful for Thank you guys. You. And what, what I'd be most thankful for is to, know that we do as much as we can to give back. This is, this is part of, this is our, my, this is our next 30 year journey is to make massive impact. So how I would be more thankful is to not only listen to what I share, know that we do this purposely. Show your appreciation by not saying just thank you, but going out and changing your life. Implement these things. Yes. We're doing this for you because exactly. I didn't have this when I was a kid. And the internet wasn't even around when I was a kid. I mean, I'm, I'm like two years older than Lisa. A couple more. Okay. But when I was a kid, there was no YouTube, Instagram, Facebook. There was no podcast. I couldn't just go listen to other people. I couldn't just gain knowledge. I had to read books. And I was, had dyslexia and I hated reading books. There wasn't even books on audio back then. Right? So it was like to find somebody. I had to find a mentor in my town. And that's why I found Tony Robbins off of an infomercial mm -hmm. and he changed my life. So now I love delivering value, self-education, specialized knowledge. Every time I learn something, you know, I'm like, oh my God, I got to share this breakthrough oh, yeah. I had. Yes. Right? <laughs> I love it. You can't sleep at night. You're like, babe, I just thought of something. <laughs> I'm like, just turn it off. Turn your brain off. <laughs> no, it, it unfortunately doesn't get turned off. I love it. Um, okay. So let's talk about Market, or mindset, marketing, and momentum. That's really important on this Thanksgiving. And oh, by the way, if you're listening to this on Thanksgiving, you're gonna wanna be on the lookout 
We, my team and I got together last week and decided to do a Black Friday offer. We haven't done a Black Friday offer in a while, but here's what I know. Knowledge is the new currency. You can go get a TV at a discount. Great. You can get a, you know, a, 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 a PS4 or whatever the, the, the video games or lots of stuff, clothes. There's so many stuff you can get at a discount. Yep. But getting knowledge at a discount because knowledge is the new currency. Knowledge to me is the exponential return because you gain capabilities. You gain wisdom. It cuts mm -hmm. the learning curve off. It cuts time out of your life. Allows you to go faster. So my team and I got together and we created what we're calling the success bundle. And it's all based around, in fact, marketing, mindset, and momentum. Wait till you see it. So be on the lookout. Look, you're going to get 10 gazillion million emails tomorrow about Black Friday. <laughs> Ours is the one you're going to want to open because knowledge is the new currency and wait till you see what we've done. Okay, let's talk about it. So if we talk about you're extremely successful in your career, um, again, for those that don't know, voted top number one stylist in Arizona for nine out of the last 10 years. You've done financially amazingly well, like all her nice purses, all her nice jewelry. She had that before I met her. <laughs> I, I don't even, I, I try to buy some I don't now. Have she has a lot. everything. But with that said, uh, helping your parents and helping your whole family is yes. even more impressive. Um, but with that said, <clears throat> being successful, before we met, someone listening right now, thinking of starting in the KBB world, in the, in the knowledge broker world, starting their own business, how, what, when you hear the words mindset, marketing, and momentum, how important were they in your thoughts five years ago compared to what you think right now? Okay, so... <clears throat> I will say mindset has always been embedded in me oh, I know since it has. I was. It's one of the things we were attracted to each other. But, yes, um, yeah. exactly. We have, yes, it's just like something that comes so natural and that, you know, we don't have to really, uh, you know, try hard to, you know, get our minds to wrap around. But for me, marketing was huge. Well, let's I, go back to mindset for a second. Okay. Let's go back to mindset. There's a, an age old argument between mindset and tactics. Right. Right. So think, I want, I want your opinion on this. So when people say, man, if someone just gave me the, the, the tactics the how on how to, to make money, yes. you just, I don't need that damn mindset. I'm not going to go to a Dean Van or a Tony Robbins right. event and jump up and down and, and cheer and say, mm -hmm. yes, I don't need that. Yeah. Just give me the tool <laughs> compared to someone saying, no, without the right mindset, the tool never works. What's what, what I want you to explain it in your words. How they were the together? Yeah. Oh, the difference. When people, if someone, if a friend of your, your sister came to you, Valerie came to you and said, okay. Lisa, I don't need to read Dean's success books or go to an event. Just, just tell me how to make the money. What okay. would you say to her? So I would say you definitely need the mindset and you definitely need the tactics. But a lot of people say, well, I, like you said, uh, you were saying, I don't need the mindset because I just need the how to. Give me the step by step. So then you have the step by step, you have the how to. But how will you keep yourself engaged in your career or, how will you how will you give back to whatever you're you know servicing what, whatever your career is? You have to have and mindset ties into like personality, you know, ambition. Well, think about this. Um, what happens hard work. With, without your right mindset when <clears throat> you uh, got your first job as assistant and you got fired? If you have the wrong mindset, would you have kept going? Probably not. Okay, so you know so you get uh, resentful and you do all the you know right. So okay, so yeah. in your career done extremely well. Now we just launched our new, our first extension bar that's I think will be all over the country and within five years. Um, let me ask you something: when things go sideways or t people tell you it's not going to work without the right mindset, do you actually keep going? No. Right. So if and no, I use this no. analogy way too much, but if you gave some people a business on how to sell $20 bills for $10. Think about it, you give them a stack of right. $20 bills, you can go out and make money, sell them for 10 bucks. Without the right mindset, I know for a fact people say, oh, I don't know if it'll work where I live, oh, it exactly. seems too good to be true, yes. oh, my parents said that, that, that that's probably Or they a scam. have fear, I mean, think about it, if you have a right mindset, you don't have fear. Right. You are willing to hear the no's before you get the yes, right. but then with the wrong mind mindset, you, you give know, up. You give up, you start putting all the what ifs in front of you. So you've been in this for 10 years, mm -hmm. or you've been way longer. You've been longer. In, longer than that. Um, but do you think you'll hit more obstacles in your path on your way to grow this business? Absolutely. Okay. I've already seen it now, and you know, but at the end of the day, you just smile at them and you're like, okay, I wouldn't be where I'm at if I didn't hit okay. this obstacle. Okay. So that's the whole point for me is like, in my 20s, I would have said mindset is 10%. Give me the tool, show me how to make the money. I got yes. this, I'm hungry. I was wrong. In my 30s, I bet you I would think it was 50-50. Now this year, well actually in a couple days from recording this, actually tomorrow, I'll be 51. Ah, how'd that happen? Exciting. But at 51, 
<laughs> to me, it's 90% mindset. Because <clears throat> without the right drive, how to overcome obstacles, not listen to the naysayers, how to keep going forward, how to learn from your mistakes, how to, how to focus on solutions, not the problem, how to overcome the hurdles when people let you down. All of those things are mindset and all of those things are the foundation for the most successful businesses in the entire world. Without the right mindset, you don't build the right culture, you don't build the right future. So for me, mindset is so important. It's everything and it doesn't work without it. So that's why mindset for me is one of the top three Mm -hmm. for scaling a business. You agree? Yep. I definitely agree. All right. Yes. Let's go to the second one. Absolutely. So now you got the right mindset. I got this. Nothing's going to stop me. Going to keep going. You build a beautiful salon. You build a mastermind. You build a course. You so write a book. it's so simple, but right. it's like so, so now important. You, but yes. now you write the book. And what most people believe is I wrote the book. I spent all the time on it. If I write it, they will come. If I build the salon, they will come. If I mm -hmm. build the course, the mastermind, they will come. And the fact of the matter is, it uh -huh. doesn't matter how good your mindset is. They won't come. They won't come. Mm -hmm. So how important is marketing? Huge. It's everything. And, you know, we see it happen. I mean, think about how many amazing restaurants you've been to. And the, the chef, you know, opened his little spa and he's so passionate about it. But, you know, you're sitting there eating this amazing food you're, and you're, you're praying that they don't close down. And you're wondering, it's Friday night. Why is no one here? This place is amazing. Because that's, they have that mentality where, oh, well, you know what? I'm a great chef. I'm a... I have this amazing concept. They'll just come. They're just gonna find me and come. And they don't. But no, you, you you have to work for your perspective, your uh, prospect. You yeah, have to. You have to. And and think about this, that statistic that ninety five percent of all books in Barnes and Noble That's sell insane. less than a thousand copies. I always and think about that. How many people had so much wisdom, I so know. much knowledge, the right and mindset, the right enthusiasm, and they wrote it book. and they got done and they were like Oh my God, I'm done, let the world have yes. it, and then no one gets it. Or their all-time goal in life is to write this book, and they do it, and, and it's no so one sad. gets it. So it's now so it's time. Sad. So that's why marketing has to be an obsession as much as any other part of your business. If, you're mar if your business is run into creation, like writing the book, and then running the company, the other third has to be marketing. And mm -hmm. I would say 50% of your energy, thought, momentum has to be thinking about how can I get this product, this service in people's hands and change their life. And... Uh, yeah. Any last words on marketing? It's uber important. Like <laughs> most of your dollars should be spent on marketing versus, you know, what color your business card is going to be. And I will say that, that was, was me. I know. I was like, okay, let's, what is it going to look like the design? But it's, it's you, you've that. opened my eyes and I was so like, no, you don't know what you're talking about. I, you know, I know my industry better, but yeah, it's, it's, a lot of times people yeah. think that even my own sister's like, oh, Dean, that might be your industry. It's, let me tell you a secret. It's every it's industry every in industry. the world. Those who are crushing it know how to go after a prospect, get them to take action, important. and get them in their business. Okay, the last thing is if you have the right mindset and you have the right marketing strategy, you have the right focus on marketing, it's how do you scale it? How do you build momentum so you don't just have another job? That's, that's one of the biggest things. I don't know if you're listening right now or watching and, and you've started something in your life or started your own business and you really, like you quit a job to do your own thing and your own thing became another job. Yep. And if you didn't do it yourself, you know people that do it. They're working 80 hours there. a week. And some people are actually have a job or a company that they're using other jobs to fund their company because it's losing uh -huh. money. Yep. And that's because a lot of people know how to do their craft. Like you teach a mastermind, right? It's like, okay, now how do I run a mastermind business, right? You're a great restaurateur. You're a great chef. You're like, I don't want to just be the chef in the back end where I want to create a restaurant. They go get a restaurant. They know how to cook really good, but they don't know how to run a restaurant. They don't know how to build momentum and how to scale that. So um, today on Thanksgiving, hopefully that's you're, hear, you're hearing this then, or you can hear this anytime. Um, I really want you to think about, do you have those three key place, pieces in place? Do you have the right mindset? that's unstoppable, that nothing can stop you. No matter what goes wrong, you are going to learn from it and you're going to continue forward. Or do you have a, 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 a mindset that's going to give up and you've already given up in the past and so you already quit? Got to focus on that mindset. At the same time, you got to learn marketing. Marketing is the key to your next level. And once you learn those through and you got a great business idea or you're doing masterminds or workshops, whatever it is that you're doing, then you need the skills to understand what a KPI is or an SOP yes. and the framework 
to scale a company. Because listen, we're not doing this to dabble. We're not doing this to start another job. You're doing this because you want independence, you want freedom, and you want to impact people's lives. Mm -hmm. So that's our message for Thanksgiving. Any last words? Um, with all that, the, you, you'll never master it. I feel like you always have to keep working on it. You do. Because what you just said is like learning how to scale a business. Like you hit a point where if you're just running on a treadmill and you're going really fast, you're making great money, but you're just working so hard. You have to find a way to be, to be creative and to learn how to grow your company and take it to the next level. So education is amazing. I feel like self-education self has been the best for me. Life, yeah. And courses, I'm obsessed. <laughs> and books, I mean, I'm, I'm obsessed, you know. I know a lot of you out there are as well, but it's so important. It really I, is. I couldn't agree more. And that's why, depending on when you're listening to this, we are doing a Black Friday special that's going to be, oh my God, <laughs> it's going to blow your mind. So be on the lookout for it. If you're hearing this after Black Friday, I'm so sorry you missed it, but we got books and courses and training and we're always working really hard to serve and give back. But again, for my DG family, Black Friday, you're this, I'm going to be the one email you're going to need to open because I'm going to send an email to my entire DG family for the rest of the world. Happy Thanksgiving. And Happy if it's not, if you don't live where we are and there's no Thanksgiving going on or you're listening to this the different date, we're still thankful that you're here listening, gaining capabilities because self-education changed our life and that's what we're doing mm -hmm. right now. Appreciate you guys so much and uh, look forward to chatting with you soon. What's up? What's up? Hey, before you go, you need to watch these next few videos. They're absolute game changers. Hurry up and click right over here and watch them and I'll see you there.